Thank you, Jackson Coffee Company, for great coffee today and every day in the green room. Today, the uh, blend is breakfast blend, which is fine in the afternoon. Jackson Coffee Company has ice cold refreshing beverages, both locations, and the Jackson Coffee Company can uh, provide uh, large scale uh, coffee for your big events. Check out Jackson Coffee Company downtown. Enjoy their uh, great beverages and food. Now featuring great sandwiches, wraps, salads, and baked goods from Grand River Bakery and Grand River Brewery. One of our uh, downtown neighbors, the Town Bar today, catering the green room. The Town Bar has a very extensive menu. If you haven't been there in a while, you, I'm sure will be surprised at all their offerings like these chicken tenders and breaded mushrooms, this classic burger with onion rings. I do believe that uh, Lucas enjoyed the onion rings. Did he share them? No. Also the um, Buffalo Blue Burger here. I think David Rice enjoyed this Coney Dog and BBQ for, uh, chips. Also today, the ground beef tacos. Brandon seemed to enjoy those. Uh, pulled pork sandwich, they've got uh, pulled pork nachos, a uh, breaded chicken sandwich, which uh, a lot of people say is the best they've ever had. It's phenomenal, yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, it is phenomenal. Now, the town bar has a great uh, patio right out front on Cortland Street. They're right next to Jackson Coffee Company. They're neighbors, friendly neighbors. And uh, both locations, the coffee company and town bar have the nice patios. So come downtown and enjoy great food at the Town Bar, Cortland Street in downtown Jackson. Our first guest on today's show is the superintendent of Jackson Public Schools, Jeff Beal. Hey, Jeff. Hey, how are you doing? I'm good, how, how, how's your summer going? It's a great day to be a Viking. <laughs> no, actually, it's a great day. Really, I'm, I'm having a blast, and uh, summer is uh, hot outside, and I'm, you know, so we're, we're, things are heating up in, in JPS right now. Yeah, uh, the kids are starting their uh, fall sports practices this week. So, yep. of yeah. course, you, you, you guaranteed, as soon as that starts, it gets super hot. So, uh, we've had, uh, Coach Parker's had, I think the state police have been out working with our kids at the high school, mm -hmm. doing, putting them through a drill, and they were in the pool yesterday. So, they found a new way to, to, to tire themselves out uh, over at Jackson, uh, at Jackson High. So. Uh, without a doubt, conditioning, uh, you know, is coming back into play for all of our athletes. Um, and something new, we brought, um, we brought Crystal in last year. We hired a strength and um, conditioning coordinator mm -hmm. to work with uh, all of our athletes. So uh, her job is to um, meet with every athlete, create an in-season workout program for them with their coach, create an out-of-season workout program for them when they're out of season and a nutrition program so that the the kids you know you feed the beast right so that we're not doing the onion rings five minutes before the football <laughs> game but uh, but the reality is is you know you got to feed the machine in order to perform so uh, athletics is definitely off and running and jackson public schools is is really taking a, a good hard look at the the role between um, fitness nutrition and athletics and in the classroom because uh, all three of those really tie together and work together. So uh, she's in the building five days a week, um, working with our kids and really, again, kind of changing the culture of what um, student athlete and, and we put the emphasis on student really looks like. Yeah, I saw Coach uh, Parker instructing his football athletes to bring their uh, swim trunks to uh, football practice. Absolutely. That's pretty cool. And I think there's more kids out for football this year than uh, recent memory. I don't have the right numbers, so I don't want to tell you yes, no, but I'm, I, I know there's a lot of energy around Coach Parker. He was a, a great hire. Uh, you know, we, we obviously wish Scott Farley well in his role, but, uh, but Coach Parker, you know, very familiar with the community, and, and a lot of folks are very familiar with him. Uh, so, so super, you know, excited to see what's going to take shape this fall. Well, uh, fall sports start uh, here. Summer sports end, and actually, uh, yeah, there's a sport that just ended: um, bass, bass fishing. Bass fishing. Yeah, we, you know, we, we've we've had some kids. I, how do we get a fishing team? How do we get a fishing team? And we've been kind of working on it. Pool. Yeah, we got a pool. Uh, actually, um, Kretzinger and and Hanley. 
the the two here in the picture and, and yeah i'm gonna tell you now i haven't pulled a fish like that out of the water in a while that they <laughs> they just jammed what a great great season for them they finished first in a detroit river tournament uh well there you go detroit river first place look at that uh just a few weeks ago and i think they finished fourth on the season uh they did get a chance to go compete at states and of course you know every trip out on the water is a little bit different but they they have a, a great season and uh, we're really proud of of them and certainly a lot of promise in what the the bass fishing team and, you know i that's what it is there is something i promise you for everybody <laughs> right whether whether it's esports whether it's on the football field or on the swim team or on the tennis team or maybe you want to learn to run the cameras uh, and do the scoreboard uh, up and down the sidelines we got that we got I mean, digital sound media going, whatever you could possibly want in within the realm of athletics. It, it, I talk about it all the time because it ties directly to the classroom. There is something for everybody that makes them feel at home uh, when you're a That's Viking. Right. So, uh, you know, it's a great day. It's, 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 it really is just a great place to be right now, especially for our kids. Yeah. Congratulations to uh, Ephraim Kretzinger and uh, Shea Hanley, the... Uh Head of the, heads of the bass team, yeah, and uh, and everyone, the whole crew, because there's a support, there's parents, and uh, they have to have sponsors you don't, too. You don't do this. You don't do this in a bubble, without yeah. a doubt. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we're about to start uh, the next school year. I think uh, hunt starts next week. Yeah, the tenth, I think, is the yeah. first day for them. So uh, you, are there still openings in uh, any areas? Not at Hunt. Hunt is full. So okay. we're, we're good there. Um, actually, I think we're down to about five positions, plus or minus, in the whole district. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of elementary positions. So if you are an elementary teacher, we would love to talk with you. Um, again, there's a, a signing bonus for coming on board, um, a retention bonus for staying with us kind of thing, uh, moving into the future. So a lot of really good things happening that way. But um, I think I've got a couple of positions, three I want to make sure. Mm -hmm. uh, I know that yesterday I was watching them fill up the board and, and you know, our war board of who's where. Uh, and then I think I've got uh, math and one science. So again, um, secondary math or science, we got a we got a spot for you as well. And uh, support staff, bus drivers. Oh yeah, it, without a doubt, I, I should have led with that because we're we're always looking for bus drivers and we're paying for all the training, the fingerprinting, the. CDL with the state. I mean, JPS is picking up the tab on that mm -hmm. stuff um, because we do need bus drivers and we do need bu uh, bus monitors. We need folks to, uh, you, believe it or not, we can't get to school without you. So uh, yeah. we are, we're really hopeful that we can uh, kind of fill up some of those slots and there's always room. So I, I tell you, I think we've got plus or minus 36 drivers. And if I had my way, we'd have plus or minus 50 drivers, uh, mostly because you know, we get into the school year and there's field trips and there's sporting trips. And so whether you want to drive full time, or you want to drive part time, we probably got a, a, a situation for you to make a couple extra dollars. Also, uh, Jackson Police Department is looking for crossing guards. It's an hour in the morning, an hour in the afternoon. Uh, yeah. And they pay you. So call JPD and uh, get, in, get in on that. Yep, without a doubt. And then uh, Parapros. Lots of folks think I got to be a teacher, and this might be a, a way to step into that that role. If you are thinking you might want to be in education, and, and you're just not sure what that looks like or how that fits, or what, come and be a para pro with us. Uh, you know, the classroom they, they work with a partner teacher, so a classroom teacher kind of runs the lead, and the para runs uh, small group instruction. Um, we've got a lot of small one-to-one -one sections, so like if you're at Cascades Elementary, for example. Um, you know, each classroom gets a para pro, and so if you're at 25 kids and you've got a teacher plus a para pro, that's really kind of a one to 13 ratio uh, student to adult in that classroom. It's a you know, it's a good place to be. So our goal is to you know expand that. And if you're a para educator, or you're thinking you want to come in, no experience necessary. We'll get you trained. We'll get you working with a teacher and. Um, get you the the pieces you need you don't you don't need the college degree to come in and do that sounds good well for the new team members I uh, had an orientation session uh, last week yep. second time we did this so uh, we like to bring everybody in um, we like to sit them down with their mentor um, we do a tour of the district they get a lot of history they get to see um, you know all of the 
all of the buildings. Um, then we get together, we like to have some food. Brant shows off from the food service department. And then, you know, we, we really treat them to some of the culture of what Jackson Public Schools looks like. So they get some swag and some JPS merch, and then they, they end up with their computers because, you know, one of the things we want is every teacher, when they come into school, they sit down and the computer turns on, right? I don't want them to sit down and have it go, I can't get my, my right. device to work. So they get their devices issued. They get, uh, you know, this is how you turn it on. This is how you sign in. They get, they get all of that to make sure they know what they're doing. Um, and then, uh, you know, I, you've got some other ancillary support services there. So it was nice. Um, we, we've got a great relationship with the JEA, our, our, uh, our teachers association. So they're there, they meet with folks, they can answer a lot of questions. Um, it's really, again, a, a really warm partnership uh, with our staff. And so it's not just teachers, obviously, we end up with secretaries and paras and, um, and so on. And so it's, it's important for us to kind of welcome the entire JPS family That's that great. way. And a bus trip to the casino afterwards. No, 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 no bus no. trip to the casino. No, the bus trip, you actually show them around town. You, <laughs> we do, we do a whole bus tour around town, not to the casino. I like where you're at though. He's ready for the weekend, everybody. I'm just telling you, horse racing and, and casino trips. So. All right, so we do have some new administrators uh, at JPS in, uh, in three, uh, three locations. So um, real quick, uh, Destiny Davis, lots of folks know her. She was our French teacher. Uh, she is the recommendation to um, backfill in uh, over at Parkside. So you remember uh, when Jeremy Patterson jumped up to be the assistant superintendent, um, Krista Jarvie jumped into his chair, yep. or, or might have kicked him out of his chair, I don't remember which. And that created an opening to backfill Krista's position. Um, and that is uh, between Bobby Berkey is going to do scheduling and then you, you see how the dominoes fall. Destiny Davis, um, she's been a teacher with us, I wanna say for about seven years now. Oh, nice. um, absolutely phenomenal, high energy. Uh, she is a young up and coming superstar. Uh, I promise you gonna do some really exciting things out there. I'm, I'm just super stoked to have her on board. She's a breath of fresh air and it's gonna be fun. Cool. Um, and then um, uh, Clifton Foster came down to us from Lansing and he is actually the new dean of students out at South Central Michigan Virtual. And everybody goes, what's a dean of students do at a virtual school, right? right. Um, well, it's, it's less about discipline than it is about attendance. It's more about course completion, right? So uh, first of all, SCMV is still growing. We're enrolling today. Um, and uh, I, last count, we were over 550 kids in that program. It is the third largest program in Jackson Public Schools. Mm. It will, I promise you, be one of the largest programs in the county. Uh, and that's because we don't just service kids in JPS. We service kids inside Jackson County, uh, outside of Jackson County. Um, we work with homeschool parents who are just looking for curriculum. Maybe they don't want to send their kids in and out of brick and mortar schools. Maybe for whatever reason they, they want to choose the homeschool route, but they need that curriculum. They need that guidance. So we provide them with the curriculum and then we provide them with a, a certified teacher to back that curriculum up so that when their kid needs help in geometry or whatever the subject is, there's, there's people there. Um, but uh, nope, uh, Clifton Foster is going to do a great job for us out there. He comes with a lot of experience and uh, we're excited to have him on board. Um, and then Crescenda Jones is taking over Cascades Elementary School. Um, Crescenda's got, uh, she, she comes to us via uh, Detroit Public Schools, but was also over in Battle Creek before that. So uh, really knows, um, she worked in a district very much the same size as us in Battle Creek. Um, you know, very much knows some of uh, the challenges of, of, of some of our students, the same as, as Battle Creek. We look very similar and we compare in a lot of ways. Um, so I'm thrilled to have her coming on board. She's got a real strong, um, a, a real strong uh, grounding in um, special education. She's got a real strong grounding in um, positive behavior intervention supports and multi-tiered uh, systems of support. She's, which are all, sorry about that jargon for education, <laughs> but she's a superstar. I mean, again, if you want to see somebody, we, we were lucky to, to grab her and, and bring her on board uh, because of, of what she presents. She's got just a wealth of, of expertise in elementary education. In the beautiful brand new Cascades Elementary. Absolutely. 
I see all kinds of uh, construction materials and equipment around Sharp Park Academy. It looks like you're getting ready to start something there. Um, actually, they've been working there most of the summer, and the foundation for the new portion of the building is already in the ground. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we just got uh, approval on some of our site plans yesterday for water retention on site and uh, driveways. So that will allow uh, that part of the project to move forward. Um, it's going to be a full year from now. We'll still be talking about Sharp Park next year. Um, there are some challenges, obviously, when we talk about procurement, you know, uh, lighting fixtures or something like that. I literally coming from across the country, and so you know, you try to get enough of them to fill the building, kind of thing, <laughs> right? Um, but uh, no, it's that's that's super exciting. So you're seeing that take shape. Uh, we've got construction at Jackson High. Uh, that continues and um, so we're hoping uh, that that will wrap up here about Christmas time at Jackson High mm -hmm. um, and then obviously uh, the field house is still um, going and that construction should wrap up uh, before Thanksgiving. Oh, wow. um, actually I think we'll probably have a grand opening on that building the end of September turf which is supposed to ship everybody quote me on this a turf is supposed to ship it's say supposed to <laughs> on August 20th. Uh, if it ships on August 20th, we could probably have it installed by September 20th. That's kind of the plan, right? So now that's if it ships on time because we've heard this before. So, um, you know, that's that's really the, the, the greatest challenge right now is getting stuff in. Um, I was talking with our architect who's working on a, another project and they were, they were talking about, um, you know, big electrical panels, anything heavy gear for electrical and they were talking 18 month oh my gosh. lead time on some of this stuff, wow. big transformers or something like that. You just good luck. You know, you uh, see me in a year. We were a roof. Come back and see me a year later. Right. So. Wow. All right. Back to school <clears throat> for um, Hunt next week. And yeah. Uh, back to school for Hunt. Absolutely. Um, remember, Hunt's our balanced calendar. So if you're figuring out where you want to be, Hunt is a nice place because you get a little bit of break time you know, throughout the years. And, and so the, the learning is much more paced for the students. Uh, we see better attendance. We see lower instances of discipline. It's, it's really a much calmer setting for, for many of our kids. Um, Montessori is enrolling. Um, John R. Lewis is enrolling. We're adding grades down there. Uh, so there's a lot happening. And then kindergarten camp is coming up to the following week. So uh, for all of our kindergartners and moms, dads, if you have a kindergartner that hasn't enrolled yet, we wanna get them in because that kindergarten camp is a, a critical for their success. It, it'll help you with the start of the school year. Uh, it'll really give them some of those, this is how you do school, this is how you move around, so that when the school year gets here, everybody from moms and dads to students to teachers, all have got this relationship, they all know how how it all is supposed to work. Right, it's so we don't have crying on the first day. Of oh no, we still have crying on the first day and moms, it's okay, we've got Kleenex for you. Uh, it's true, I, I was an elementary principal and it's, it's, it's a blast, yeah. so. All right, great to see you, Jeff, thank you. Thank you very much, great to be here, buddy. JPS Superintendent, Jeff Beal. Uh, a lot more coming up on today's show. Uh,